హార్టీ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ నాలెడ్జ్ సీకర్స్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ డాక్టర్ మధుసూదన్ రావు కడప ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ది కైనమెటిక్స్ ఆఫ్ అ బాడీ ప్రొజెక్టెడ్ వర్టికల్లీ అప్వర్డ్స్ నో సపోజ్ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ ప్రొజెక్టెడ్ వర్టికల్లీ అప్వర్డ్స్ విత్ అన్ ఇనిషియల్ వెలాసిటీ యూ now as this object moves against the gravitational force of attraction so its acceleration is taken as a equal to minus g now depending on the velocity with which it is projected it may reach some maximum height now h be the maximum height reached by the body at any instant if you observe as it starts with an initial velocity u suppose it traveled for a small interval of time t then we have the basic expression v equal to u plus at now after t second suppose the body is at some height like this then at this height its velocity be v1 v1 equal to u minus gt so u minus gt and the vertical displacement y y equal to ut minus half gt square so this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 and this is derived from s equal to ut plus half a t square where a is equal to minus g so the displacement vertical displacement after t seconds is ut minus half g t square similarly after traveling this distance y we can use other relation also so v square that is v1 square because the velocity at this point is v1 square minus u square equal to minus 2gy since u is greater than v1 as the body decelerates in upward direction v1 square minus u square this will be negative and uh, as we have a is also negative minus g so the minus whatever we get gets cancelled and u square equal to or v1 square minus u square whatever remains is equal to minus 2gy using this relation also we can find out y or if y the vertical displacement is given instead of time if the vertical displacement is given we can find out the velocity v1 square is equal to u square minus 2gy this is another expression for v1 so using this relation or this one here the time of travel is given here the vertical displacement is given so using these two any of these depending on uh, the given values we can find out v1 and coming to the other expression here we have used v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus of at square then v square minus u square equal to 2as and uh, the last one is uh, displacement in nth second yn equal to u minus g into n minus 1 by 2 so in nth second the displacement is sn equal to u plus a into n minus 1 by 2 so analogous to this we can use y equal to u minus g into n minus 1 by 2 then what happens when the body reaches the maximum height position so as a body when projected vertically upwards it may reach some maximum height because the velocity is continuously decelerating at some point of time the velocity may reach zero that means the velocity may become zero at that point the body will stop for a small instant and then it tries coming down so the point at which the velocity becomes zero 
v equal to 0 till then the vertical displacement of the body is called maximum height h so using the relation v square minus u square equal to minus 2 g h here as v becomes 0 we use 0 square minus u square equal to minus 2 g h or otherwise u square equal to 2 g h or the height h equal to u square by 2 g this is the expression for maximum height then time of ascent time taken by a vertically projected body to reach the maximum height position here we use v equal to because uh, at the maximum height position final velocity is v this becomes 0 and initial velocity is u then v equal to u minus g t t a we can uh, take time of ascent t a so v is 0 so it is u minus g t a or otherwise g t a equal to u and time of ascent t a equal to u by g so this is how we can derive different expressions for a body projected vertically upwards here we have come across at any point in between uh, the ground level or the point from where it is projected to the maximum height it can reach in between at any point we can find the velocity v1 and the vertical displacement y using uh, different relations like this and uh, at maximum height position v becomes 0 so we can derive the expression for the maximum height reached by a vertically projected body and then the displacement in the nth second in vertical direction and then the time taken for a vertically projected body to reach the maximum height called time of ascent can also be found using this relation time of ascent equal to u by g and maximum height reached is u square by 2g so thank you very much in some other video i will explain some other kinematic relations thank you